Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I will show you how to use my SQL through command line interface. So I would like to tell you that uh, this is my my SQL GUI graphical user interface. I'm using my SQL workbench. Okay, and uh, I'll be using uh, this different uh, database schemas and everything all together. But in real life, in practical, you might be uh, needed to use through command line interface be it uh, windows or linux most probably uh, in industry you will use linux so let me show you how you can uh, open command line interface so i'm using windows so i will show you in windows so uh, first of all uh, if you don't have installed my sql and uh, you need to go to this this website my sql just search my sql download my sql once you go to their official uh, web page then uh, you can uh, go to my sql where is download section yeah so in this case uh, you can choose my sql community version yeah my sql community gpl downloads yeah so in this case uh, you can install my sql community server and just uh, hit go next 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 or you can install this my sql installer for windows so this would be best for you yeah once you have installed what you need to do you need to go to your search menu and type here cmd command prompt and you need to open up uh, as a administrator yeah so this is my command prompt and uh, you can see my user uh, access is through administrator here what you need to do uh, okay before that uh, you need to uh, set the environment variable of my sql what you have installed so i have installed my sql in uh, program files my sql sql server 3.2 and bin what i need to do i need to copy this uh, path and go to environment variable so I will go to environment variable okay and I will open up it so my environment variable will open up uh, this system property window open environment variable go to path edit and copy here the same path of my SQL server okay the same thing you can do for system variable I have created user defined in uh, system variable as well so I, I have copied in both parts so you can follow the same uh, you can just offer it here put it paste and just say okay okay done yeah so this part is done now what you need to do you need to type my sql then dash u then root uh, remember that this is a, a root name which i have uh, used during my uh, my sql installation so in my SQL installation, whatever the username you provide, you need to give it here. I will use the root, so I will give you root and then dash p. And I will give my password. Hooray! You can see my SQL uh, is available in command line interface. Let us show what is available. So I will type simple command show databases. So it will show me the databases so these are the uh, databases that uh, i have uh, created in my my sql okay so this is a simple way to use my sql uh, through command line interface here you can do some permutation uh, i mean you can use anything for example if i want to check the sales database so i will tell use sales then comma now uh, I will say select database so here it will show me I have selected sales database okay so this is the uh, uh, things that uh, you can use uh, my SQL through command line interface if you have any queries feel free to ask thank you very much for watching this video